All right, class, welcome back to our online video ukulele trainings. Um, this is just if you have an ukulele at home and you didn't get enough practice time in class, um, this is here so I can help you out, uh, even when you don't have music this week. Um, so today we're gonna focus on our first chord that we learned. It was the very first one, and it was the C chord. Now at school we have stickers to help us out, but at home you might not have stickers on your C chord. Um, so I'm here to help you uh, remember where it is. Now just as a reminder, um, for these videos, you're wanting, you're gonna want your ukulele not to look like mine. My head is on this side of the screen. Your head of the ukulele should be on this side of the screen for it to be correct. All right, if yours looks like mine, you're gonna be playing it backwards, and we don't want that. So make sure that your ukulele is opposite of what mine is. My head is here, the head of your ukulele should be there. All right, now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about what a C chord is. First thing, let's talk about what it sounds like. Um, a C chord sounds like this. Now remember, when we strum, we wanna make sure we're strumming at the beginning of the neck, not over the sound hole at the beginning of the neck. So, this is what a C chord sounds like, and this is what each note of a C chord sounds like. Now, the way we play it is we're gonna take a look at the fretboard, which is on the neck, and we're gonna count frets. We're gonna count one, two, three frets. Now, the third fret is the one that has the dot, the very first dot. And we also have these strings. Now, we may, some people call this top, some people call it the bottom. Um, we're gonna call it one, two, three, fourth string. So the very first string is at this side. It's the, sign it's the string closest to your toes. So our C chord is the one, two, third fret, first string. Another way you can think about it is it's the third building, one, two, three, it's the third building, and it's the first floor of the third building. That's how we're gonna think about it. So, you're gonna put your index, middle, or ring. I like to use my ring finger, and you know which one it is because it's the one I have my ring on. So you're gonna use your ring finger, or the other two, but we're gonna stick with our ring, to push down onto that string. And we're not gonna play the full chord yet, we're just gonna play that one string by itself using our thumb. And you want it to really ring out. If you get this sound, it might be because you're not pushing down hard enough. It might also be because your pinky is touching the string in front of it on the fourth building. We wanna make sure we're just on that third building on the first floor. And one more time before we play the full chord, you're going to check to make sure you can hear every single string. Once you can hear every string, you'll go ahead and you'll strum it. And we're just going to strum ta's. So why don't you go ahead and be my echo. I'll go first. Ta, 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 ta. My turn. Ta di ta, ta di ta. Good. Ta di ta di ta ta. Ta di ta, ta di ta. Ta di di ta ta. I just threw that last one in there to shake things up a bit. So that's our C chord, all right? We want to make sure that it's the pressing down on the one, two, third building on the first floor. And that's the C chord. All right, keep practicing and remember, be your musical best.